In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, and with your spirit. The disciples devoted themselves with one accord to prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Good morning. You're very welcome to our Mass on this first Saturday, and we offer the Mass of Our Lady, Queen of the Apostles, for the repose of the soul of Father Eric. And Father Eric is the person who gave us the organ in this church and we give thanks for the gift of music that we hear and have heard from it. I would also like to pray in a very special way for Anne uh, in Borisali, who is very ill at the moment, to pray for her and to pray for all of her family. So as St. Vincent Pilati invites us to consider, to imagine ourselves, to be in the upper room with Mary and all of the apostles, for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. So we go there in spirit, asking for the graces that we need to live this day in love, in peace, and in mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. You are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave the Holy Spirit to your Apostles as they prayed with Mary, the mother of Jesus, grant that through her intercession we may faithfully serve your Majesty and extend by word and example the glory of your name through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. It is a great joy to me in the Lord that at last you have shown some concern for me again, though of course you were concerned before and only lacked the opportunity. I am not talking about shortage of money. I have learned how to manage with whatever I have. I know how to be poor, and I know how to be rich too. I have been through my initiation, and now I am ready for anything, anywhere. Full stomach or empty stomach, poverty or plenty. There is nothing I cannot master with the help of the one who gives me strength. All the same, it was good of you to share with me in my hardships. In the early days of the good news, as you people of Philippi well know, when I left Macedonia, no other church helped me with gifts of money. You were the only ones, and twice since my stay in Thessalonica, you have sent me what I needed. It is not your gift that I value. What is of value to me is the interest that is mounting up in your account. Now for the time being I have everything that I need and more. I am fully provided for now that I have received from Epaphroditus the offering that, that you sent, a sweet fragrance, the sacrifice that God accepts and finds pleasing. In return, my God will fulfill all your needs in Christ Jesus, as lavishly as only God can. The word of the Lord. 
The response to the psalm is Alleluia. Happy is the one who fears the Lord, who takes delight in all his commands. His children will be powerful on earth. The children of the upright are blessed. Alleluia. The good man takes pity and lends. He conducts his affairs with honour. The just will never waver. They will be remembered forever. Alleluia. With a steadfast heart he will not fear. Open-handed he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His head will be raised in glory. Alleluia. Alleluia. O Lord, to accept the words of your Son. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you this, use money, tainted as it is, to win you friends, and thus make sure that when it fails you, they will welcome you into the tents of eternity. The man who can be trusted in little things can be trusted in great. The man who is dishonest in little things will be dishonest in great. If then you cannot be trusted with money, that tainted thing, who will trust you with genuine riches? And if you cannot be trusted with what is yours, who will give you what is your very own? No servant can be the slave of two masters. He will either hate the first and love the second, or treat the first with respect and the second with scorn. You cannot be the slave both of God and of money. The Pharisees who loved money heard all this and laughed at him. He said to them, You are the very ones who pass yourselves off as virtuous in people's sight, but God knows your hearts. For what is thought highly of by men is loathsome in the sight of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Like St. Paul, throughout the course of this year, we have had to learn and to learn again to be content with what we have, to accept the situation in which we find ourselves, and to find grace and blessing in it. Pray for those today who are struggling with lockdown, those who feel isolated and cut off, those who are suffering in any way, mentally, physically, spiritually or emotionally. We just take the word that Paul gives us. There is nothing that I cannot master with the help of him who gives me strength. 
I can do all things in him. So we lay our lives now on the altar with the offering of Jesus. And we accept the blessing that is given to us this day. Pray for the gift of joy and peace and love in the presence of the Lord. We offer in a special way our interior lives to the Lord, our hearts, that we may be truly transformed within and that the inner life and the outer life may be in harmony, that we may have integrity of life. We ask for the healing of those areas of our lives where we struggle, especially the sins that cling to us so easily, that we may experience the healing grace of the Lord in this Eucharist. We ask Mary now as our mother, as Queen of Apostles, to pray for all of us as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. By your favour, O Lord, and through the intercession of Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, May our offering obtain for your church this grace, that she may grow in the number of the faithful and be ever radiant with an abundance of virtues through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop, the clergy, the religious and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Father Eric and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her husband, Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. In union with Jesus and Mary, we pray that the Father's will may be done in our lives. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Blessed is the womb that bore Christ the Lord, and blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. Having partaken O Lord, of these helps to our salvation, in our commemoration of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of Apostles, we humbly beseech you that persevering in your will and in the service of the human family, 
your people may draw ever closer to salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. As I kneel before you, as I bow my head in prayer, take this day, make it yours, and fill me with your